What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. It's damn all everything. What do we have going on today in the Cody community? Dish Network has filed a lawsuit against TV add-ons over their specific add-on, the Zim add-on. And that's going to be the buzz of the day. I'm going to let you guys take a look at Torrent Freak, which dropped this story. You can read some of the lines. I will leave a link in the description for you to check it out on your own. Take a look and we'll come back and kind of talk about it. If you enjoy the content on my channel, please take your cursor, click the subscribe button. If you want to receive an alert every time I drop a new video, click the little bell. And if you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can click this button. If you want to connect with me on my other social media, I got a button for you here, a button for you here. And if you're one of those people that want to make a donation, donations can be made through my Patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life gains. You can also get private videos done. This is how you can support my channel. Just click here and become a Patreon and you will continue to get great content by life gains. So after seeing that, you know that there are a lot of right holding companies that are going to be looking at this whole lawsuit thing because people have been after Cody for so long and there's nothing you can do about Cody. Cody is not putting up content that streams uh, movies and TV shows that are deemed piracy. All Cody does is provide a platform. So now they're going after the direct uh, third-party add-on providers themselves and the thing that typically makes people upset about this whole industry is that you know some people look at it as though when you watch that stuff you're stealing blah 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 it's illegal whatever to this day streaming is not illegal downloading and distributing is the illegal part but then you get people that want to hit you in the head with their ethical views and all that good stuff I'm going to tell you what a police officer told me. On any given day, if he was to follow anybody for 500 miles, he would be able to get them a ticket for something they've done illegal. That's kind of my mindset when it comes to watching streamed content. And the other thing that got me into the whole Cody industry anyway is the simple fact that crony capitalism is running amok in America. I would never liked the way cable companies dish companies were able to be three major organizations in a country that's got 350 million people and they pretty much sit there and talk to each other about how to screw the consumer out of money. Technology comes along and it explodes and they couldn't wrap their arms around everything that the internet was able to open up for consumers. And along with that came the deregulation of certain industries like the, the cell phone industry. That was a monopoly for a long time. That got deregulated thanks to technology. Now you've got legit companies popping up that can offer you unlimited talk, unlimited text, unlimited wealth for like $30 a month. That never really transpired up until nowadays with cable companies and entertainment company providers. But it's going on now. And we're going to start seeing two things happen. More and more companies providing TV services, which we're starting to see that right now. And you're probably going to start seeing more and more pressure put on these third party add on providers because, you know, people are jumping onto this industry like no other. I think I read a statistic where 60% um, of households now have a streaming device that they're using. It doesn't mean that they're using it for third party add ons or anything like that, but they do have access to these streaming devices, which is making this whole third-party add-on viewing so hot and it's costing these little monopoly companies their money and it, it, it used to bother me that they would run in front of a microphone and scream to you we love free market capitalism when you are circumventing 
free market capitalism, which is supposed to be a fundamental basis of allowing competition, which is driven by the consumer, or in this case, you, the end user. And so we'll just follow this and see what happens. TV add-on has taken down the Zim add-on and we'll just see where it goes from this point. I know a lot of you have been frustrated with certain add-ons not working and things disappearing, but that is just the nature of these add-ons. They have to change servers. They've got to change web links. They're gonna be going through this and this scrutiny is probably gonna to continue to rise on the third-party add-on providers when people find out who they are. That's why most of them remain anonymous. So leave me a comment below about what you think is gonna happen with this decision. How do you think this is gonna shape the future of third-party add-ons in the Kodi streaming world, the SPMC streaming world, and in the streaming device world in general. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe. Check out the video description link below this video. I'll have the link to Torrent Freak and this article. Check out my affiliates, check out my past videos. Until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.